Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another banging video on Smile to Jannah Ramadan special. Guys, how can a disallowed goal save a child's life and give us a lesson on tawakkul? People have been asking for it. They've been waiting for it and now it's here. Yes, it's Lighthouse Mentoring Service. It provides a free one-to-one -one mentoring service for ex-Muslims, people that have doubts in the religion and it gives them that time which is free to help answer their doubts and then of course ultimately inshallah come back to the religion. You want to share in this reward? Why would you not? Donate now! So guys, about a year ago, it was Portugal versus Serbia. The captain of Portugal was none other than Cristiano Ronaldo. Come on. I would say from the replay, it looks like it was a goal, but it was disallowed. It wasn't allowed. And then after a while, I think when it came to the half, Ronaldo got really frustrated, took off his captain's band and dashed it on the floor, mate. Frustration. It was a goal though. Now that seems like an event. Ronaldo got a lot of stick for that. Let's, let's, let's be frank because celebrities, it's open season for people like we're seeing with Will Smith and everything. But then what happened, and this is subhanAllah, was ajeeb. Yeah. What happened there was later a fireman after the match saw the captain's armband on the floor. He gave it to a charity. That charity auctioned it for 64,000 euros. And then what happened was those 64,000 euros were used to treat a Serbian child who had a, uh, a disease of sorts that required a, a lot of money. And subhanAllah, those 64,000 euros saved this child's life. Who would have thought it? If somebody told those parents, just imagine, how can you link Parents in a hospital <laughs> to Ronaldo <laughs> getting frustrated and throwing his captain's armband on the floor. Allahu Akbar Kabira. Subhanallah, it's so ajeeb. Yeah, and this is when we say trust in the plan of Allah because we have the pixel, Allah has the picture. We have the little mosaic piece, Allah has the tapestry. Subhanallah, we have the thread, Allah has the jumper. Allahu Akbar. And guys, this is very important to understand when we're going through hardship. Do your best, Allah will do the rest. What do I mean? It means whatever is in your control, whatever's in your means, then yes, do your best with that. But when you lose control, when it goes beyond you, that's where you have tawakkul. That's where you have belief and trust that Allah will take care of it now. This is where anxiety kicks in because we're trying to control that which cannot be controlled. Let me give you an example. You take your mum to the hospital. Yeah, the ambulance isn't coming, you book the cab. You do all of this. However, when you're at the hospital, you can't control what happens in the oper operation theater. You raise your hand, you make dua. When you're married, you're with your wife. You go to couples therapy, you speak, you, you try to be spontaneous, you do all of this. Yeah, you try to save your marriage. However, now in the separation and you guys have separated, no ifs or buts now. You did your best, now leave it to Allah, yeah? So with the exam, you try your best, you're revising, you're watching videos, revision guides and all of this. After you've sat the exam, now it's out of your control. Why are you getting anxious for? To simplify what anxiety is, is trying to control that which cannot be controlled. And guys, this is what we learn from this. Allah in his infinite wisdom can use any means. Ronaldo's armband, subhanAllah, to save your child's life. Who would have thought it? Who would have thought it? Were it not for these news, you and I wouldn't have known about that. But subhanAllah guys, you don't know what Allah is doing behind the scenes. Yeah? And subhanAllah, Allah says, وَهُوَ يَتَوَلَّ الصَّالِحِينَ Allah is the guardian of the righteous. When you tell your mum to get the package that's going to be coming today and you're out and about, you trust that she's going to collect that package. But when it comes to Allah and He says, I'm your guardian if you are righteous. But we fail to uh, fail to trust that. Why? This is Allah, Lord of the Arsh and Kursi. But Subhanallah, Subhanallah, we are learning a message of tawakkul from Cristiano Ronaldo. Subhanallah, and his armband and that moment of anger and you know a disallowed goal. Subhanallah, 
subhanallah. May Allah give us the ability to truly grasp this message for it will help many of us. Let's leave it there, guys. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.